So with our log box connected to the computer, we can actually position the temperature away from the log box by connecting an external probe into one of the sockets. And at this moment in time, we'll use this center one, which is just replacing the internal temperature sensor. So if I plug in there, I now have a lengthy lead to a temperature probe. And coming over onto the screen, the number is a little bit higher than we were just looking at because we are now detecting temperature outside of the log box. And I guess the light and the sound is getting a little bit distracting at this moment in time whilst we focus on temperature. So in the software, if I just move the mouse over to the little icon on the light level and click, we can hide the light level readings away and we can hide the sound away so we can simply concentrate on the temperature. And I wonder what's the first thing we can explore with our temperature? Just how warm is each person's hands? So if we pick up the temperature sensor and grasp it firmly we can see that the temperature will increase You may like to speculate as to what the body temperature might be for me. And notice the temperature just gradually increases as the temperature sensor responds to my body temperature. At the moment, we seem to be still increasing or will we plateau out below 28 so with that short time of gripping it I've managed to raise the temperature reading to nearly 28 and so if I now release my hands and put the temperature probe back down we should see the temperature begin to drop as the air temperature is a little chillier than my body and when we hit 25 on the way down I think we'll pass the temperature probe to another hand from another body and see if it goes up so there we go and let's see if somebody has definitely got a warm hand Is there a temperature indicating shortly that maybe this body might be not with us anymore? And taking the hands off the temperature probe now, we'll see the temperature start to decrease. And if you just concentrate on the temperature thermometer icon for the moment, as the numbers are going down, so the graphical display in here goes down as per in a thermometer. In a previous video, we explored the menu button here to allow us to actually capture data with the logbox when it wasn't connected to the computer, and we saved the data. So now that we are connected to the computer, it's time to actually take the data out of the log box and pop it into our computer so we can see the graphs. So connected in the software, so if we go to the file option, and we're going to transfer some data, the third option down. Clicking on transfer will open up a window in a moment. And we see here that all the data files that we've been capturing over time are listed here and you can see that the top three were all done today and in a moment we will connect transfer the auto data and at this moment in time we have the option of only bringing over the temperature or the light or the sound or any combination at the moment we'll bring all three over and so the bottom of the window we have the transfer button clicking that you'll see the window displays the data 
in a small graph being transferred. It's now in and the temperature data is now displayed on this particular graph. The other data is hidden at the moment and we'll explore that in the next video. We now have all our data transferred into the computer for display purposes and at the moment we only have the temperature line displayed because the scale on the side is relevant to temperature. It's a different scale will be needed there for the sound and the light. We can have a look at the light recordings by simply clicking on the light icon on the left here. And here we can actually see the light levels that were recorded a little earlier. How long was this recording for? Let's have a look at the horizontal axis and it moves across for just over 20 seconds and to have a look at the sound that was recorded at the same time we go back to the icons on the side click and there is quite an interesting up and down of the sound levels that happened in that previous recording the line graph makes interesting reading maybe we would like to have a look at it as a bar chart so down in the center of the screen at the bottom we have an option to move to the bar chart for this sound and there we are have each of the different items snapshots that were taken displayed as a bar chart